Hey YouTube, PC Geek here. And today I wanted to do a review of the Pose Audio Elite headset certified by Sony for the PS3. This headset is epic. That's the sound actually coming from the headset. What is cool about this headset is you shut the Bluetooth feature off. This headset right here, I know I'm holding it right, but we'll do it this way. You shut the Bluetooth feature off, and it will actually work on your iPod, your computer. Thing is epic. Now, if you're tight on money, you are going to spend a bit. It's a hundred and fifty dollars at Walmart, but the hundred and fifty dollars is so very worth it. Anyway, yeah, definitely get this mic. This is not that much of an in-depth review, but that's because this is actually my first review. Um. Awesome mic though. I can here you have on, over here you have I, can't, I don't know if I can get a good angle. But over here on this side you have your charging port and I don't know if you can see it but you also have a port to plug in a 3.5 meter jack adapter so that you can work get it to work with your iPod or your PS Vita. Um, also, this has the blast impact technology, which is located right here and actually on up through the mic which allows it to when there's bass in music or in games you can actually feel it all around you it's actually very awesome um, also what have I not covered Oh yeah, it's seven point one virtual surround sound. There's different game modes such as music shooter. Fighter, um racing. So what that means is that depending on what game you're playing or what genre of music you're listening to you can set the mode to that genre of music or that style of game and the sound quality will be improved um, as far as comfort goes pretty sure if I had normal ears they would be more comfortable but for me, I because I know there's a lot of padding here, it's really soft. I actually quite like it. Um, but for me, they're not that comfortable because I have now this is a opinion of my own. I have piercings in my ears. This one's a nail, which I've done myself. Uh, that I've already, before anybody gets an idea, I've already had this pierced once before. The hole just closed, so I just went through it with a nail. Um, but besides the point though, it's just not very comfortable on my ears. I'm sure that if I had normal ears without gauges or piercings, so it would be. Um, on a scale from one to ten, I would have to give this headset uh most likely an 
nine, a nine, nine and a half. Because simple, simple fact is, when volume's all the way up, there's a lot of bleed. You can actually hear it if I hold it up to the. Yeah, but like I was saying, there's just a lot of weed, though. In fact, you can still kind of, it's still registering on the screen that there's a lot of sound. So you can definitely hear the weed. So for that reason, I give it a nine and a half. I mean, you would think with virtual surround sound and supposed noise cancellation, which it does have great noise cancellation. I put these suckers on even when the music is not playing and I can't hear a thing. Um, but yeah, for that reason, nine and a half. I know this is not that in-depth of a review. If you let me get more items, give me ideas on what to review, I will buy it and review it. And I promise the review will be deeper than this. More in depth. Uh, please add, rate, and comment. I love you guys. Again, nine and a half. Not a bad headset. I like it myself. There are a few flaws, but you would think with 7.1 surround sound that there would be less bleed. But unfortunately, no. There is not less bleed. There is actually quite a lot. And also, like I said, comfort if you have pure tunings is limited. So, uh, consider that before you buy it. And remember, the price is $150 at Walmart. Thanks and goodbye. Actually, I'm going to listen to this.